An act is rational if and only if it has an expected utility at least as high as any other available action. The thing I've had to work on the most, and I think has yielded the greatest dividends in my teaching, is trying to shift from being sort of me focused and thinking about what do I want my students to know and how do I communicate it and what do I know towards sort of trying to understand how it is from the student's point of view they're interacting with material, so making it more student-centric. Um, and in class that means eliciting more of their responses, letting them guide um, some of the topics that we talk about, and also just having more of an interaction with them in lecture, so just being more perceptive of how they're engaging with the material rather than how I want to sort of force the material at them. Basically, you guys tell me where you want to go, and the VR that I will see is going to be projected up on the screen. Well, I think students learn best by putting themselves in the shoes of historic subjects uh, and seeing the worlds in which they lived, uh, doing the activities that they did. Uh, and again, by learning by doing, um, oftentimes they're going to fail. And failure, in fact, is, I think, the best educator in a lot of ways. It's sort of by trying something new, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, perhaps not succeeding, but learning from that, improving, trying it again, trying it again. Um, teaching yourself is probably the best thing we can do for our students because that's a lifelong skill. Many of the problems that we learn how to do in undergraduate classes and in graduate classes are linear problems. So here's the approach. When, when I teach, uh, I, I think it's very important for students to see the interconnection between the specific class that I'm teaching and classes that they have taken, earlier classes they have taken uh, perhaps in their freshman or sophomore years. Uh, so making connection between the different classes I think is very important in any given class because no class is entirely all by itself. Uh, one good way to, to make sure that everybody uh, does or at least everybody has a good opportunity to do well is, for example, to have a, a three-hour uh, midterm for every single midterm I've given in undergraduate classes at, uh, at U of R, uh, which means that uh, both uh, the good students uh, can certainly uh, finish exams uh, uh, in, in less than three hours, but uh, students who need uh, more time to, uh, to finish the exams certainly don't feel the time pressured to finish in, in a small 45 minutes or one hour or, or something like this uh, for the exam.